Hi, this is Ryan from the Box Games, and I'm going to take you through a quick introduction on how to play in the club. So the objective of the game is to win the affection of several of the ladies of the club. Whoever gets the most ladies by the end of the night is declared the winner of in the club. Each lady has different turn-ons and turn-offs, and a different minimum affection represented by the hearts down in the bottom. So as you can see, Esmeralda uh, would be turned on by hipsters, punks, and surfers. Those are styles of dress that you can play onto your character. Her turn-offs include cowboys, bikers, Latin lovers, and pickup line cards. Each girl has a minimum affection level as well, so you can see from Esmeralda's card that she needs four hearts, which means you need four points worth of affection in order to impress her. But you also have to compete against the other players, and they might have a higher affection level, so whoever gets the highest level wins. In the cases of a tie, uh, no one is declared the winner that round. The cards that you get to use to make your move and impress a lady come in a couple different varieties. The first type of cards are outfit cards, and outfit cards you will uh, collect and combine to try to make an outfit that the girl uh, has listed in her turn-ons. So for example, if I had a leather jacket, I could start to look like a hipster or a biker, and by combining more outfits of similar types, I can look the part. Dance cards are pretty straightforward. The heart at the bottom shows you how many affection points this card is worth, so the robot is worth one affection point. Name drops also have a affection point listed on them. For example, this one is worth one point. The next type of card are pickup lines, and pickup lines are similar to name drops. Um, some girls like them, some girls don't. You can see from our example, Esmeralda is not a fan of pickup lines, and they'll be worth minus points for her. But some girls like them just fine, and some girls even prefer them and give a bonus point. You can trade cars at the bar for drinks, and drinks also have a uh, point value, though they tend to be higher. And lastly, there are cock blocks, which are ways for you to interfere with your opponent's moves, and they have a variety of different effects on them. Now let's take a look at the game board and see what we've got there. So we've got the bar, the dance floor, we've got the VIP room, and we've also got the balcony, and lastly we have the bathroom. And depending on where you choose to make your play, a different effect will happen. So inside the bar you can uh, play any sort of move uh, card that you have. You'll start the game with five move cards and you can trade any of your move cards if you have ones that you don't like for drink cards which tend to be better than ordinary move cards. In the dance floor, you can take special advantage of dance move cards, so every dance move card that you play here gets a bonus affection point, uh, but it's too loud for you to use pickup lines or uh, name drops here. In the VIP room, you do have to play one of your cards for entry fee, but inside the VIP room, uh, all name drop cards get a bonus affection point, and you can do any other sort of move that you got. The next location is the balcony, and the balcony gives you extra affection points when you use a pickup line. However, you cannot play dance cards. You just look foolish dancing up on the balcony. Um, but all other moves are legal to play up there. And the last location is the bathroom. Here players can discard any unwanted cards, cards that aren't helping them out. They can draw back up to five cards, but they take a break from pressing the lady that round. Let's now look at a sample turn. At the beginning of the game, you'll start off with five cards, so let's go ahead and assume that it's the start of the game. Esmeralda is the lady that we're going to try to impress, and here are my cards. I got the robot, I got two name drops, a gold chain, and a pickup line. There's Esmeralda so we can see what her turn on and turn offs are. And I can see right away that uh, my gold chain is not going to make me look like anybody she'd be interested in, and she doesn't like pickup lines, so I'm going to have to consider doing away with those cards somehow. So my options are this. I could go to the bar and get rid of my pickup line in exchange for a drink, which will be more helpful. And oh, what do you know, I got the third nipple, which is worth two affection points, which was uh, two more than I had before. So if I take that back to Esmeralda, I could use the robot, my two name drops, and my drink. For now, a total of one plus two is three, plus one is four, plus two is six, which is well above the minimum. 
Another possible move I could make is to go to the dance floor and play the robot and get an extra affection point for it, but since that's my only eligible card that could be used in the dance floor with this hand, that's probably not the best idea. I'll only get one for the robot plus an extra one, which is two, which isn't even the minimum affection. If I used my turn to go to the VIP room, I would lose a card, but I would get an extra affection point for the two name drops that I have, so that might be a good use of my cards. So if I did this move, I would get one point for the robot, two plus one, three points from a name drop, and an additional two since I'm using them in the VIP room for a total of six. So it's the same score I would have gotten at the bar, but this is guaranteed. At the bar, the drink that you get may be worth as much as three or as little as one. It also discourages some of your uh, fellow players from interfering with your move. I could go to the balcony, but this is another bad move because Esmeralda doesn't like pickup lines, so that extra affection would be wasted. I also can't use my dance move, so all I'd be getting is uh, three points for my name drops. The last move I could make is to go to the bathroom and discard any cards that I don't think are going to be helpful and draw back up to five cards. Maybe I'll get something better that will help me win next turn, uh, especially because some of the opposing players might be using all of their cards this turn. So it might give me a leg up for the next round. So always be thinking about what the other players have on their minds. They might have a completely different hand than you. They might have cards that interfere with your game. So you might need uh, to play a little bit of strategy. It doesn't always pay to be gung-ho um, right off the bat. Sometimes you want to wait around a little bit and see if uh, you can swoop in after the other players have uh, wasted a lot of their cards. The game ends uh, depending on how many players uh, you have playing. So it might be five, four, or three ladies depending on how many friends you've got playing with you. Each game plays a lot different. You have different hands and different strategies. So uh, there's definitely some good replayability to the game. Well, thank you for watching uh, our video on how to play in the club. Uh, please take the time to support us on Kickstarter. We really can't do this without you guys and your support. It means a lot to us. Thanks to everybody who's already supported us so far. We'll make sure to make this a great game.